I feel like a cocktail at a tiki bar. All right, enjoy. I'll let you know when it's time to get up. I'll be here. I'm Ella Dove, and this is What the Wellness. Sometimes wellness can be a little weird, so I'm running around and trying out all the wellness experiences from fitness to beauty to health and whatever else to find out when that weirdness is actually worth it. I'm here at Sojo Spa Club in Edgewater, New Jersey, where they have seven saunas, eight floors, and nine pools, one of which is an infinity pool. Why am I here? Because somewhere in this facility is a giant sandbox where they're gonna bury me in hot sand for a part sauna, part gravity blanket experience. Sojo transported 120 tons of black lava sand over 7,000 miles from Japan to New Jersey. Apparently, they're the only spa outside of Japan to have that. So let's go learn what that's all about. This is Esther Cha, the marketing manager here at Sojo Spa Club. Esther, I know you've been here since the day the spa opened. That's right. So tell me what is going on here. The treatment came all the way from Japan, specifically the Ibusuki area. The Japanese sand bath, they've been doing for approximately a thousand years. So it's a really old practice. The idea is that the heat and the weight of the sand, as well as the water from it, it creates a sauna experience, but it's kind of a supercharged sauna experience. Everything gets hotter faster, the benefits are even better than a regular sauna. The first step for our guests is to wear the authentic Japanese yukata. It's a special kind of kimono that will protect your skin from the heat of the sand. And once you put that on, the attendant will cover you in sand once you lie down on it. The whole process takes just a few minutes and the recommended time to be there is about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, well, I guess it's time for me to go get buried in some hot sand. So basically, we're gonna make a skeleton bed first. Skeleton bed? Yeah. Now I'm gonna dig a little deeper to make the bed more comfortable. Great. And to get it a little bit hotter. It's pretty hot. It's about 125 degrees right now. And I'm gonna lay down your wood pillow on which you can lie down. So comfy. All right, here we go into my skeleton bed. You're gonna feel some pressure and heat on your legs and your feet. Oh. <laughs> Heavy. If it's ever too heavy or too hot, just let me know. I can shave some off. Definitely right. warm. Is the pressure okay so far? Yeah, it feels good. Excellent. You must get your workout every day, yes. huh? I've already lost some weight. <laughs> I bet. It aids in detoxification, circulation, and reduces inflammation. And I don't know if you can tell, but if you take a big whiff, the aroma of the minerals in the sand are really nice. Yeah, it does. It smells really good. Are you going to make me into a mermaid when it's done? Remember, your session will last about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll let you know when it's time to get up. Well, that's it? I'm actually going to block out the sun now with the umbrella. Is that Great. okay? Alright, awesome. I'm definitely sweating. really good and very hot. I feel a little high right now. <laughs> Definitely ready for a shower. A cold one probably. When I first walked in, it was kind of weird because you just lay in this kind of gray sand, but then Ben started to bury me and it felt really good, especially in the beginning. It kind of just felt like I was wrapped in a warm, sandy blanket. As he's shoveling it on you, it's, there's like a little bit of anxiety, like is this gonna feel weird? And then as he starts to do it, it just felt really nice. There was a lot of pressure, like in a good way, on like my hip bones and kind of my shoulders and it really felt like I was sort of decompressing and stretching on all of those muscles without doing anything. Slowly you start to get 
really, really hot. But unlike an infrared sauna or even like a steam room, it wasn't overwhelming. Thank God for that Yakuta. Yakuta? Yakuta? Because it protected me from the hot sand. And it smelled good. Definitely one of the weirder things I've tried, but so worth it. Doing it here in New Jersey instead of in Japan by the ocean was kind of nice because I could hear the cars whooshing by and it kind of sounded like the ocean. Sort of. Almost. Come, do it. It was very cool.